Your child died from fentanyl poisoning. This is news to me like it's news to you. Because you realize right now this investigation is taking a whole different turn. Okay. And if I don't, you let me know. Did you put anything in the sippy cup? No, there was a red liquid in it, and I know we had huggies. Well, I mean, I'm just going to cut. I'm just going to be blunt to you. Your child died from fentanyl poisoning. And that sippy cup was fentanyl, and her blood was fentanyl. It's the same type of fentanyl that people are overdosing every day in Pittsburgh and dying from. He said the baby had fentanyl in her cup. So I need to know how the fentanyl got in the sippy cup because right now it's not an accident. It's impossible for your daughter to put fentanyl in a sippy cup. I have no knowledge to how fentanyl got in my daughter's sippy cup. Because you realize right now this investigation is taking a whole different turn. Yeah, clearly. When someone gives someone something and they die from it, it's a homicide. She was poisoned intentionally. Well, I'm just as clueless as you are. So are you implicating that I put fentanyl in my child's sippy cup? No. I, I, but based on this timeline, I mean, there's only two people that could have put fentanyl in a sippy cup. I mean, because some parents will give their kids a little bit of, you know, Benadryl or something like that so they can... no that doesn't go in a sippy cup because it's supposed to be measured out and Benadryl's not supposed to be drank Tylenol's not supposed to be drank over specific amount of hours it's supposed to be one dose and that's it right I agree with you I agree with you but people parents I'm not one of those people okay. or parents okay that's what I'm asking is there a reason someone would want to do that the amount of fentanyl that was in her system was extremely high it was absorbed very quickly and once she swallowed it she didn't have much time to survive this is news to me like it's news to you if you had to guess how it got in there is there any way you know a manufacturing issue with the happy drinks and as a matter of fact i took a sip of those huggies and i actually it didn't really have a, a pleasing taste to it we tested the huggies mm. no fat no is this something your boyfriend would have done was anyone in your house that uses heroin this isn't going to go away. This investigation is not going away until I find out. Okay. When you find out, you let me know. I definitely will. I Any definitely further will. questions? I just, I really want to know why your baby had that large amount of fentanyl in her. I mean, it was enough to kill a very large animal. Any more questions? No. Am I under arrest? No. Can I go? Sure. This has to be one of the most disgusting things I've been seeing. Whereas in, I mean, <clears throat> I don't even know where to begin. This is very disturbing and disgusting to know that she did this to her own kid. You know, look at the, look at that. A thousand times the amount for an adult. You know what I'm saying? You gave this to your baby. Your almost two year old, almost two year old. They should have gave her as 20 years shit. This is fentanyl. This is something that we battle on and trying to get off the streets. They're trying to get this to kid and she fed this to her baby. What police found inside this shed is terrifying. It all went down in Akron, Ohio after 23-year-old Chloe Jones met this man, 33-year-old William Mozingo. She thought he was harmless and when he offered her a ride home, she didn't think twice. But what should have been a quick ride ended up being four days of torture. A tip helped lead police to this shed. They pull Mozingo out before entering the shed and Chloe comes down from a lofted area. And that's not makeup, she's got two black eyes. Cops say he physically abused her, relentlessly beating her with a baseball bat and telling her she'd never see her family again. She's bruised from head to toe and recovering from a skull fracture. Turns out he's been convicted of kidnapping three other times, but he was released after serving 18 months in prison. Chloe says she wants her face shown as a warning for other women. 